All right, so you're in here with TrackMan. Is, so we've talked a little bit about managing your draw versus fade spin. So how do you manage your distance control? Well, distance control, what I like is I actually like to feel the same length of swing on each shot, and then it's just a matter of feeling the speed of body rotation. So it would almost be like if I'm going to underhand toss the, toss the ball to the target, say like if I want the ball to go, say like 60 yards, I've got my sand wedge here, 56 degree. I'm basically going to make the same swing where it's just hip high back, hip high through, and then just the speed of the rotation through the ball is just a matter of being able to feel that. So there's your 52 yard shot. Now if I want that ball to get up to about 60 to 70, then same length of swing, but I'm going to turn through just a little bit faster. Now we're getting that carry up to 63. Same length of swing, just going to turn through a little bit faster, so I can get that club head speed up a little bit more. Now we're into 74. Now we'll get up into 80. Same length of swing. So what do you feel the advantage is of managing your speed of rotation as opposed to length of backswing? Well, to me, if I'm making a longer backswing or a shorter backswing, then that's another uh, that's another variable. Where if I just have the same length of swing, then basically the only variable that I'm focusing on is the speed of the rotation. Where a lot of times, if I if I make too short of a backswing, then the 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 feeling of having to accelerate, or if I make too big of a backswing, that it's almost like well, I don't want to accelerate too much. So now all of a sudden, I'm getting familiar with just the same length. Hip high back, hip high through, and then just developing the feel of that rotation through the ball.